Good day, good evening, whatever, wherever you happen to be. This is uh, Doc E, uh, local e-store on YouTube, wanting to show some additional progress that I've made with my Don Smith device replication. The idea of this is that this uh, device will um, amplify a, a small amount of uh, voltage into a greater uh, output voltage by combining the um, uh, the resonance, uh, the electrons that are uh, free within space to be harvested along with the electrons that we're forcing through the tubes. The components of this are a variac, a neon sign transformer, bottle capacitors, an L1 coil. Now, one thing I would like to note for the viewers is that it's very important that this tube diameter be at least two inches. This won't work if it's less than two inches. This happens to be, I believe, a 12 gauge wire. It weighs eight ounces. This is, I believe, a 16 gauge wire, thinner. It likewise combined equals eight ounces. That also is very important. The wire on your L2 coil, the larger one here, and the wire that you wind onto the L1 coil start with the same weight of wire. Length isn't as important as the weight is. This, this L1 coil will be what is broadcasting uh, the electrical signal that you're feeding into it. This will be the one that is receiving it plus the ambient electrons that are broadcast and are just out here in, in space, so to speak. I know that sounds a little weird, but believe me, the thing works. Uh, what we have uh, here are our outer wires. Uh, incidentally, this is one clockwise on this one half of the wire. This other half of the wire is one run counterclockwise. has to do uh, with the way the electrons flow. We have the outer wire going to the outer poles of both these coils and the inner wires going to what's called the center tap. The center taps are combined with another wire here. So let's show you uh, how, uh, oh let's also get into giving you a little uh, peek at the um, the ground and uh, spark gap that I've created. Just try to use uh, reasonably inexpensive materials, so I've got a couple of L bracket, brass L bracket hinges on either side, along with some brass uh, nuts and bolts. Down the center here, this is a stainless steel um, screw. Uh, the blue stuff is just some putty I use. It makes it easy to get this stuff to stick to the plastic that I uh, typically use um, as a mounting board. So we've got our variac voltage, which I'm going to turn it on right now. It's going to make a little noise. That noise, incidentally, is coming from our spark gap. So you can see some sparks. As I turn it up, I get greater values out of this thing. That's about all I need. However, I want you to see that what is happening here. There's a neon bulb that's being lit by the power uh, coming in off the capacitors which run to the center cap and the uh, outer cap on the L2 coil. Very little voltage being fed into that neon sign transformer somewhere in the area here of about 10 volts. Remember, this is uh, outputting up to 15,000 volts. And obviously we're getting something on the receiving end. So in quick, we go from the very act to the neon sign transformer. Neon sign transformer wires, which are these white ones that we have here. One of them goes around to the bottom gaps. The caps are run in series to each other. 
the other end of that wire from the bottom of that cap goes to one side of the spark cap. Then as it goes through all the bottle caps, comes out here, forms back along, and basically meets up with the other end of that. This is the first uh, NST cap. That's the second one. That one's running directly into here, and they're combining. That way they don't arc out. That wire leads to the L1 coil. The opposite wire coming off the L1 coil leads to the other end of the spark gap. So we're obviously getting some power from this thing at very low voltage. I also happen to be drawing my power, not from 110 volts to that variac, but if you'll follow the wires down, to a 12 volt uh, battery booster pack that leads into a very inexpensive um, voltage converter that steps the 12 volts in DC to 110 volts AC. So I'm not using a whole lot of power here. And we are getting some output. And as I said, we can turn this up a little bit. And we get a more significant result. I'll continue to do some testing and see if we can't uh, build some sort of a step-down transformer so that we can actually get some useful voltage out of this. I'll try to clean up all these wires, draw some schematics and diagrams so that other folks can follow along on this.